Hello. Hello. Doc, the, the That's your Chazikov. Chazikov here. Yeah. Yes. Who comes from Russian, but also sometimes goes into a little bit of Me Mexican. Yeah, he you goes, know, one of those. Goes back and forth. One of those classic <laughs> Russians. <laughs> Russians. Oh, man. Oh, look at that dude cruising along. Yeah, I guess nice. cool. Gonna go, see if there's oh, anything new here. I wonder if you're going to try and talk to the Possum teams. Possum Springs. See what's going on Casey there. Casey Hartley of Possum Springs, last seen at dusk on June 27th. Yeah, still missing. Walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey is wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and black canvas shoes. Okay, okay, okay. Katie Washington has still never lost a child. <laughs> Yarn. I'm a cat, so i got to play with this. The one. fact that... At the beginning of the game, when we saw this, oh, yeah. and she said that's like insulting or whatever, it implies that there is. Uh, There's like stereotypes. But also that, like, the, the domesticated cat yeah. that's owned by people, that there's still a correlation between those yeah. two things. It's just. There's just a divergence of the species that one yeah. became sapient. Let's see what, what old mom and Pastor K are up to. Hey, hon. You still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full in. I bet it is. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Except for you're sitting there reading. Does that work? That's her work. Man, I want that job. Mm. I mean, it's like Faith works at a library, and most of the time, especially right now when you have so few people on campus, mm. she kind of gets paid to do homework, and they've straight up kind of told her that. Yeah. Like, we need you there to do stuff, but there's not much to do all the yep. time, so... Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space, and we have the people who need space. Oh, okay. So they're propo she's proposing, like, a shelter type of situation, mm -hmm. it seems. Interesting. We have resources, and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Mm. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Business means jobs and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half dead church stacked full of bums. Uh. Uh. Thanks for your time. Uh, yep, thank you. Thank you. I like Pastor Kate. She's, we'll she's, see you for the vote lady. tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Man. Uh. Uh. Okay, let's even think about this logic of we need business. I guess they are saying, like, business attracts more people that will live here. Right. But, like, we don't want somebody living in the church because we want a pizza place to open up like those things are correlated only in the sense that population will probably use both but somebody going to the pizza place isn't going to know that there's a like it's just well the whole idea is brings in people right so that people can get jobs so we can grow okay so let's bring some people in here let's care for them let's love on them yeah and let's give them a job well yeah style. what if we could get bruce in here give him a, a place where he can you know, shower and have like, man, it, poverty begets more poverty because like, it's just, look, let's talk about just the, the cycle of poverty. <laughs> Turn off the game. Oh man. It's frustrating. Uh, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Who's grace. <laughs> was all this about Bruce's Bruce? Wife. It was, is whatever. It's out of our hands now, but there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. 
What seems, what seems to be the trouble? Oh, that's you. I don't know why I thought it was me. I think I met God. What? Hmm. Hmm. It was a dream. But God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert, as far as I could see, where, like, all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something, and I came up over this... What do you call a hill made of sand? A dune. Oh, I'm reading that book right now. <laughs> yeah, the a spice dune. spice must flow. <laughs> you, oh, you didn't meet God. You met a maker. Uh... Watch out. That's what they call the worms. Yeah. And there was God just sitting there up on another hill or dune or whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. <laughs> Did they say anything? Yeah. They like, uh, uh, they like didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care. In general, they went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. That's a good. That's a good yeah. rule of thumb. Also, if some somebody if tells you, you you are God, tells no, you if they are, asks you if you're a God, uh, you say yes. Right. No, That's I'm, Ghostbusters, and I'm quoting. Oh, I see. Are yeah, you not okay. quoting Ghostbusters? No, what okay. I'm saying is that if somebody tells you they aren't God, you should believe them. And if somebody tells you they are God, probably you probably should not them. believe them. Yeah, there's, there's a good. Ch- <laughs> there are ways you can judge that based on biblical scripture. If that's yeah. the God you're talking about, it's a whole thing. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters. Like the universe is ending and everything is being forgot. That sounds very lonely. You been feeling lonely lately? Yeah. I had this problem when I was in high school. And I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think that there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday... And tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching? Anyone who cares? No, but... Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Man. Oof. Good, good conversation. Yeah, man. Really good. There are different directions I would have taken that, Pastor K. But... In retrospect, sure, but in in the moment, 
I liked how honest she was. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying not to be honest. I'm sure. There, there were more things you could talk about. But... Yeah. Hmm. All right. Where's Bruce? Let's go. Let's go hit up Bruce. Man, come a long way since the Bat Cave. <laughs> He's just undercover right now. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. Is Bruce leaving? But I'm not worth throwing away your job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where, where will you go? Going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. The kids are gonna be there. I have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It's nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Uh, the pessimist in me? Yep. Says that that is a metaphor. Mm-hmm. It's the, uh, when I leave this place, I will see my wife. Yep. Like the guy from Iron Man says yep. before dying. Eh. Yeah. Yinsen, that was his name. I mean, it all just seems so, like... It was so uh, optimistic. Yeah. And that's, yeah. I mean, it's an issue that when I hear that, I'm like, I don't know. Not going to happen. Well, it sounds too optimistic. Though. Yeah. Like, they're going to be standing have... there with signs and everybody, yeah. everything's going to be perfectly fine. And I'll never touch a bottle again. And f could very well be the case. Yeah. Let's hope that's the case. But let's also, that's true, but is that's hopping tough. a train a metaphor? Yeah. Man. Town council sucks. Yeah, they want a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Let's go to the old pickaxe. Yeah. Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. That's Stuff. just B. That's how she yeah, always that's, is. Yeah. Like, doesn't mean she's not down. It's just. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ugh. What are you up to today? Uh, wandering around town. Have fun. I'm gonna go talk to yeah. What's his name before? You like I, probably... I do want to hang out with B over over Greg, right. but I want to. You could probably go do him. Greg and Angus's quests now. Be my thought. Oh, because each of them are gonna take you to a place. Remember? Oh, sure. Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Went to the, the graveyard. Go, the with ghost B. quests. Yeah. Hey, me. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Don't mind me. Okay. No. no? Okay. That's it. Well, see you later, Angus. <laughs> Off to the Snelkin. What? Ooh. What's this? Oh, this is their. This is their apartment. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. A okay. All what? Right, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no. It's all right. You can just drop down. Go back upstairs. It's all right. You're good. Right there. There you go. You got to have to triple jump. Well, first, there's something that you can see off the sign. 
There's a, a dialogue box. Yeah, that was my goal. Is what I wanted. What the hell is a malt? <laughs> but I think you can like Get single, there, double, yeah. and triple off of the hit, hit, hit. Nice. All right, what do we have here? <laughs> Bird. Full of birds. All right, a guy playing saxophone for the birds. Nice. That's a lot of birds. Um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. Call me Duke Silver. <laughs> What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? <laughs> you got like this head bob going yeah, on. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I mean, do I need a reason? Nope. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. That's not true. We just did a play at the hardware store. <laughs> we used the counter as a stage. Okay, this is the only stage in town that's only a stage. <laughs> Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you going to, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's going to be putting on anything here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity. Probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that it is. That it is. All right, we met our res resident cool jazz person. Oh, huh, pentagram. Oh, well, you know, you just, you just see pentagrams everywhere. And remember, isn't there a saxophonist in your dreams? Oh yeah, in one uh, yeah, there's the four musicians. I wonder if that means anything. Woo! Snack wagon was back this way, right? Or was it? Oh, yeah, there it is. It is. Yeah, keep going. It's the food donkey. Yep. Uh, food donkey. Seasonal snacks. Uh, what, have we got anything different? Okay, fruits, ghosts. Nah, it's all. This nah. Well, what's what do you think Snookle is? Is that like a? I, I'm guessing Snookle is like um. Like a vaping thing. Vaping. I was like gonna go like flavored cigar type. Yeah, thing. something like yeah. that, where it's like tobacco based. Sweets or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sap yeah. duder. Hey. How do you how you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an a-hole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushie? To replace the idea of a caring God? I can throw in some chips. <laughs> I'm good. You turned down a free slushy? What's wrong and with free you? Chips. So what's up? Uh, you want to hang out? Got some date night stuff with okay. Angus. It's cool. I might hit a B. Hit her the f up. So what's up? Oh, okay. Just checking in. Just checking in. You have checked in officially. I check the. Check, check, check it what like this. What was the app? Was it uh, Foursquare, where you could check into places, and that was like a social media for a while? You can do that on Facebook, too. Sure. And yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's what those big ones do, is just take the ideas from the others and just cannibalize it. Just yeah. Them. But I was all about Foursquare for a while. I was in spot. Like, I had a friend. It was actually Scotty Daly, a friend of ours, who was doing it. And then I bought my first smartphone, and, like, we had a friendly, like, competition <laughs> and then over the space of a week, I drove from Indianapolis to uh, uh, New Jersey and then went up to New York City, then down to Washington, D.C., then back up to Hershey, Pennsylvania, Holy crap. then back then back to uh, to Indianapolis, then over to Joplin and absolutely demolished his score. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good week for a You man. weak, pathetic <laughs> fool. Oh, you're staying in Westfield, Indiana? <laughs> You, you are nothing. All right, let's go back to B. B, let's hang. Yeah, nobody else wants to spend time with me for some reason. 
B. 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 Spend time with me. Come hang out, B. <laughs> that is some way. That's a way to put it. There you go. You hear me, statue? Guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before they got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. Can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. I'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. That's ironic. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Cool, you you do that, B. There's a movie that I really want to watch right now called Nomad Land, and it is a uh, movie that really the only actor that's in it is um, Francis McDormand, but it's about a group of people who are essentially like that, that just for whatever reason, they are on the fringes of society and just roam around looking for seasonal work and stuff. It sounds like a really cool concept. All right. All right. Time to hang out with B. Actually, Dude. in the next episode, it's right. time. Yeah. Time to hang out that's with B what, in the next episode. That's what you meant, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So we will see I'm gonna you I'm going to back guys. out of this real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wandering around So time. I can save. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.